Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about set data type. In our previous classes, we discussed about list, tuple, string data type and discussed about mutable and immutable objects. All these concepts which we already discussed, we use the concepts which we already discussed. So please follow our playlist from the beginning so that you will have a better understanding of the complete Python language. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, before going into the concept of set data type, first we will refresh the concepts of a set operations, which the basic operations, set operations in a discrete mathematics. So if you don't know what's discrete mathematics and you don't know the concepts of set operations, please follow our discrete mathematics playlist. There we clearly discuss about set and unions and set operations. So please follow our discrete mathematics playlist and come back here. So let's refresh the concepts of set operations. In discrete mathematics, we are having a set. A set is a group of distinct elements. What that mean is we don't have duplicates. Duplicates are not allowed in the set. That is what a set is a group of distinct elements. Duplicates are not allowed. Let's take an example. Example A is equal to A is a set 1, 2, 5, 6, 7 are the elements in the set. Like that same way B is a set. B is consisting of 5, 6, 9, 10, 11 are the elements in the set. We need distinct elements. Duplicates are not allowed in the set. Different set operations are set union. So what's that set union? Union symbol is A union B is given as all elements from A and B without duplicates. Let's take this example A union B means all the elements from both the sets without duplicates. Here 5, 6, 5, 6 are repeated here. So we, we have to take only one time. We will take only we will we won't allow duplicate values in the set. So A union B, the set, the new set is A union B 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All the elements from both the sets. That is what set union is uh, coming to the next concept set intersection uh, if you take two sets uh, the set intersection intersection means the common elements uh, the elements that are present in both the sets those elements will be considered in our example 5 6 belongs to both the sets uh, that's why 5 6 is a, a a intersection b now coming to the next one set difference a minus b is given as a Elements that are in A and not in B. So what's that? That are in A and not in B. A minus B is. Let's take an example. A is equal to 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8. 5, 6, 9, 10, 11 is set B. Elements that are in A. 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8. That are not in B. Means we have to remove the elements that are in B. 5, 6 are the elements that are present in B. So eliminate those elements those elements so 1 2 7 8 is our answer a minus b means 1 2 7 8 so 1 2 7 8 these are all about sets and set operations set data type in python is defined to use these set operations so coming to our set definition in python set definition is given as a set is a it's not definition set is a collection which is unordered unindexed and no duplicate values unordered in our last class when we discussed about list list is an ordered data type ordered means the way which the elements the way in which elements are defined it won't maintain that sequence in list list is an order the way in which list is defined the same order is maintained if you want to display the list the same order it will get displayed but in set it won't maintain that order unordered which is unordered unindexed in list elements are given some index values 0th position first position second position third position like that index values are given but in set we don't have that index values and it won't allow duplicate values that is what a set is so now we'll discuss how memory allocated to a set the same concept how memory is allocated to list also discussed in our previous classes how memory is allocated to set is python uses hash table so what is meant by hash table and all these concepts we won't go deep into the concept of hash table here 
the hash table concept is clearly discussed in our data structures playlist we made a separate four to five videos on hash table technique in order to access the elements in an efficient fast and efficient way hash table is helpful so if you want to go deep into the concept of hash table please watch our data structures playlist then come to here so now this is all about set and set operations and uh, how the set data type is now we will check with an examples in python what is meant by set set data type is defined like this using this flow brackets and duplicates are not allowed here a is equal to 1 2 3 4 print a it is displaying the set elements next coming to the a 1 2 3 comma hello so this is a set and print a means it is displaying the elements next set is unordered let's take this example a is equal to hello this is a python program the order in which we defined it is not maintaining that order that is what we have to understand here see when we display print a it is displaying in different order in which we defined is hello this python program is displayed now coming to the next one set within the set and list in set are not allowed set within the set set is a collection so in that another collection is not allowed that's the point in that another collection is a not allowed so set within set and list is a collection of elements in that another collection object is not allowed that that's important to understand next coming to accessing elements in a set we don't have index values means we don't have any index values to access the elements so how to access the elements we use loop we trade the elements in the set using a loop for i in a hello this is python program this is our set for i in a print i this is how we access the elements from the set next one is membership operator we, we so many times we discussed in our previous classes membership operator in not in operator the given member is present in the set or not if it is present then it will display the, it's a true value otherwise it will say it as false value so hello in a is hello present in our set if yes it will display true value that is what membership operator is we cannot change the elements in a set but we can add elements so if hello is already defined we cannot change that hello but we can add elements to the set so that's why set is a mutable object which we can change the elements we can we can modify our set we can add elements we can remove elements that's why set is a mutable object so how to add the elements in order to add the elements there is a method called add a dot add of we are adding a new element called java so and we are displaying is hello this java python program this is how we add the elements to the list if you want to add multiple elements at a time we use the method called update update you know list of elements can be added to the set so update is a method now coming to how to remove an element from the set we use the method called remove method so remove method is used to remove the element from the set we want to remove the element java so print a is pascal hello this python and program is there next the what's the remove method do here is if the element is not found it will display erroneous value see here it is displaying that uh, there is a problem uh, and the p element is not found so that that's remove element uh, remove method will do in order to avoid that if you don't want to display the erroneous value then we use the discard method discard method is used if the element is not found it won't show any erroneous message like that just it will leave it that is what a discard method is, will do so based on the situation we have to use whether you want to stop doing if you want to continue if you want to continue if the element is not found then use discard method so it won't display any erroneous message discard method print a discard p discard p means p is not there in the list it is not showing any erroneous message that is what we have to understand next one is a clear method if you want to clear all the elements in the set we use a clear method and the empty set is shown like this next one is set union union method 
so union method means already we have discussed about set union operations set intersection operations set difference operations there are different methods which help in i doing all the set operations but here we are discussing only a few methods union intersection and uh, difference method so what it will do let's take an example a is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 b is equal to 4 5 the common elements we are having here is 4 and 5 so union is uh, given in two ways we can use the union method or you can use this operator this is pipe symbol so print a union b print a dot union of b so both are displaying the same output uh, duplicates are uh, eliminated here next coming to set intersection a b so the common elements will be displayed common elements are 4 and 5 so the output is a uh, 4 and 5 union operator uh, you can use and simple ampersand simple or we can use the intersection method in order to do the take the intersection of the elements next one is set difference uh, difference means we already discussed it, the elements that are present in a and not in b that that elements has to be displayed from a set uh, so what's the elements 1 2 3 4 5 4 5 is present in b so what are the elements that left 1 2 3 so this is how it will display the set difference can be mentioned as a, a minus b print a dot difference of b both the ways we can use uh, this is all about set data type uh, hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept uh, please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you